Welcome back, awesome action toy fans and subscribers. It is toy haul and review time. So let me get straight into it. I'll show you what I'll be reviewing. This is the first thing in the toy haul. Yes, I have got the uh, Joy Toy Warhammer 40k Ultramarine Aggressors. So I'm looking forward to that. If you are tuning in to see the review of these, then check the video description. You can jump ahead to that part, to that chapter, to see the review. So this is the first thing that I've had come. This is my first toy haul for April. Staying with the box stuff, I got myself another Quill, who um, I haven't actually published a review for yet, I don't think, so I'll be publishing that soon. But I picked up another one because he's a fantastic figure and a great base for doing a fantasy or sci-fi dwarf. Staying with the box stuff, again, I'm leaning over. Whoa! I had my... Last two of uh, the Truven Hex come in. My next two of the Female Knight of Accord. So that's the three that I wanted. I have got now in total. Let me put that on that way. You can't see. Like that. Okay, next on the box stuff. We come to Marvel. I picked up a few, actually quite a few bits of Marvel this time. But mostly loose. So I got myself... An Ultron Marvel Legends series Ultron, good base for a fantasy knight. I got myself a Captain Marvel, who's actually a pretty crap figure. I think I've reviewed it before. If I have, I'll stick to just the videos. And I picked up Marvel's Wasp, who's actually a good figure. And I have reviewed it again previously too. Let's go backwards a little bit. Okay. On to the loose stuff. Let's look at heads first of all. I got myself a Donald Trump head, which looks quite good. You can just about make out in the uh, little bag there. And this one, I'm not sure. Of, but it's a mast head. It could be Red Hood. I don't know. No idea who this character is here. But it looks pretty cool. Both 118 scales. In fact, it's all 118 scale today. Next up, Fortnite. I got myself another Ruckus figure, who's one of their better looking figures. He's a bit too cartoony with the head, but with a bit of paint on the head, he'll actually fit in with less cartoony looking figures too. And I've got a particular custom in mind to use that head with. So there's Ruckus and a few accessories that came with him. Now we're going back to Marvel. Guardians of the Galaxy. Yet again, I got myself another Groot. I think I've got three, no, five of these now maybe. And another Star Lord. Oops. Uh oh. So you can see here, there's my uh, group from last time and group from this time. I also got myself another Gamora, who's a great looking figure, but there's no waist or, or trunk articulation, which is a real pain in the butt because that's really what you want added on a nice off piece of armor. They could have done one on this as well. Could I add it? Yes. Will I add it? No. The sculpting here is going to make it very tough to do a nice job on that. Um, still with Marvel, I got myself a Doc Ock without his uh, tentacles, though I might get another one with the tentacles. I've had him before. Uh, still on Marvel, I'm getting a few of the bigger, chunkier figures. So I picked up a Juggernaut, uh oh, the Colossus version of Juggernaut, or whatever it's called, without, the, without his head. And another one of them. Now, it's worth noting that these two that are in these plastic bags are cheap. They are rejects or they are faulty. So, if I take them off, you see the colouring here and the colouring there. But actually, that's the back of his leg. The front of his leg is this side, the muscular. So, really, his leg wants to be that way. <laughs> if that makes sense. So... I can put that together, but then the thigh is going to be wrong. Or I just have him with his one leg the wrong way around in terms of sculpting. And his quadriceps are on the back, you know. So, yeah. But they're cheap, so I can't complain. And this one, you see the, the head part here, peg is bent to the right, which I could cut off and readjust. But this one is a normal one, he's fine. And then back to Fortnite. I got another The Scientist, fantastic figure. I'm going to use some of his parts for a custom I've been working on. And I picked up a 
What's the red version of Sludge called? I've forgotten. Or the red version of Ripley, sorry, called. Is it Sludge? I can't remember. I got him, so I'm happy about that. And I got a few more Fortnite goodies in there and so on. So this is, I'm expecting a couple more bits, but they've not come in time for this video. And I want to make this video because I want to review these, uh, these bad boys here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause this and I am going to take this stuff off the table, except for my uh, my aggressors, my ultramarine aggressors, and then we'll get into the view. So I'll be back in an instant for you guys. So I've taken the cellophane off, I've opened the box at the top. Um, it's not going to be a proper unboxing video, so I just want to show you how thick these boxes are compared to the other ones. They are very, very chunky, but you'd expect that considering how chunky these boys look here. Does look pretty good. We'll have a look at the boxes very quickly, and then I'll pause the camera again so we, I can unbox properly without you wasting your time, and we can have a look. So it tells us it contains one 14.5 centimeter collector's action figure and accessories in two languages, ah, English and French, it appears. Uh, which is interesting. They were previously English only, or was that Chinese? I can't remember. On the back, it shows you, I think it's the same on each of them. Let's have a look. The fronts are all different, but the backs are the same. Just a tick to show you which one is in the box that you have. Oh, they do look really, really nice. They look fantastic. Um, they all appear to be very, very similar. Just different heads mainly, and a couple of different accessories hanging off their belts, perhaps. Okay, so I'm going to pause this, unbox these, set these up, and then we can get into this review, and we can take a proper look and do a couple of comparisons. So, back in an instant. Okay, here they are, and off the bat, I'm going to say they look amazing. Actually, this is actually how they come out of their packaging. You have one complete figure, head, and base. That's it. Nothing to attach, nothing else inside the box apart from their card. They all come with a card like this, with their name on the back, and then information in Chinese, which I could translate using WeChat or Google or something, but I shan't. They do look particularly nice. Now... I will say this, the colouring is fantastic with that gold, with the edge lighting in the white, really, really good. The sort of silver on the ammo belts looks good, they look really good. But you just know, and I know from just having a quick play of them while setting them up, that with that bulk they're going to lose a fair bit of articulation. And I will say this, the heads are bigger, or they appear bigger, they seem almost out of scale because a lot of that bulk is the is the marine inside there's also armor so the head shouldn't be scaled to the armor it should be scaled to the man inside the armor if you understand or you get what i mean so let's take a close look and then we'll do a comparison in fact i'll do one by one of the heads first of all so guy on the far left let's have a look at his head let's see if i can get a nice focus going on there not bad lacking in Paintwork a bit, a bit meh. I mean, the details nice, the sculpt's nice, but I just think the paintwork could be nicer. Um, I think there's maybe too much highlighting on this one because the blue almost disappears. No, but it's a all right. It's a good sculpt, I think. It's you know, but just I think that could definitely be uh, better with the uh, painting. There's some shading there that you can see, obviously, by the cheeks and the lips. Okay, let's go to number two. Look at that hair there. He's obviously been to a salon. Uh, I'm not a fan of that hair. It looks a bit too... He's too concerned of his hair, you know. He's basically wouldn't be that concerned of the hair, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, mouth is pretty good. The fact that they've actually painted the teeth is really good. Features are quite cool. It's not a bad sculpt. But again, it seems a touch bigger. We'll have a look at that. Again, in a little while, but not a bad sculpt again. And swapping those heads around is going to be horrible to do, because you've got this part on top there. You'd have to use pliers, maybe. And then the last guy, let's have a look. Nice head sculpt. I like that sort of mask rebreather part there. Good dry brushing 
of the silver and then you just need there's a bit more highlighting on the red on that sort of bionic eye there but it looks the same that hair's a bit too perhaps fashionable for a space marine but it's nice looking let's go to the bases so the first one very simple base there's a shame they didn't dry brush these and paint the skulls or anything like that but it's nice to get a base included and you know paint them yourself will be easy spray black dry brush and then add in details not bad base again and then the third base bit more detail on this one again looks pretty pretty cool and on the back bloomberg or bloomage rather not bloomberg bloomage joy toy which is the company name that we know them all as joy toy okay now let's have a look at figures i will do the details on each and i'll do articulation on one because articulation is going to be the same now they are basically identical with a few minor differences in coloring and also the hands okay so first thing i just noticed and i picked this guy up here let me just zoom out again oops that's a zoom in never mind it will do is that this part here is actually loose that's really quite nice the fact that that can hang freely i think is fantastic in fact, let's go to the next zoom instead okay great details he's just a, such a great looking figure this belt is very soft and bendy so it's not going to um, um, impede articulation too much this hangs loose the rope here is a bit loose the y again is very loose not going to impede articulation the coloring is amazing look how that gold pops that looks so good the way it pops there there's some there's some paint run some paint run from the gold to the uh blue some seepage there we can see but that's minor better than i could paint the figure i'm pretty sure uh the back looks good it's basic but the details are nice the coloring's nice it just looks so good so like he's never actually had a battle so clean looks very 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 good and this is the uh red head here or the red helmet i should say and again we've got these different body to what we've seen previously with the sculpt and we look at his hands his right hand is open like this there's no articulation fingers and his left hand is the exact opposite open again some articulation of things would have been fantastic i love the fact they've drilled the barrels again on their weapons look so good very 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 nice now these are top heavy but they do have big feet so they stand okay but they may topple sometimes okay next one not too much difference obviously the, the helmet's not red this part hangs loose he has this here same details going around he's got a skull there i didn't notice that these before these pipes these are quite loose again so won't pee, impede articulation too much again just a fantastic looking toy in fact, I want to take toy back. I want to say collectible. I'd say this is between action figure and collectible, particularly since the articulation of these will be less. Um, so both of his fans, his fans, his hands are closed fists, and again they are just opposite opposites of each other. And then we come to the last one. Now he has right hand open like we saw in the first one and he has his left hand closed like we saw in the second one. So a good use of parts by Joy Toy to get variation. He has bones and he has a key hanging down there. Uh, helmet's the same as the second guy. He's got this little um, part there on his legs. Nothing really different coming around, different coming around the back. But he just does look fantastic. These are by far the best looking of the 40k releases so far. But however, but however, that's really bad English. However, you know, you just know from looking and I know from handling that the articulation is going to be the worst. Uh, which makes me think about the uh, Chaos Terminators, which I was expecting the Chaos Terminators to come before these aggressors. So this was a nice surprise. Uh, yesterday uh, makes you think about the chaos terminus they look amazing i'm just worried about their articulation a little bit however we can forgive loss of articulation when you've got such beautiful looking and bulky figures this is where you know these figures would shine in a larger scale because you have more space 
to put articulation in. So I will choose the center guy for articulation and we'll go from top to bottom while we have a look. Make some space for myself. So first up backpack like the others I'm assuming. Yeah, so the nozzles can twist. Then these parts here look like, okay, so these like rocket launchers, missile launchers, they can pivot too. Nothing really else there. Head can turn left and right. There is a side to side. There is a tiny up and down. I'm not going to change the head for this video. I think it's going to be too awkward. And plus, I think they look better with the helmets in. Except for maybe this guy here. He, he might be better without the helmet. Um, shoulders, they won't go all around because of the uh, ammo part here. But you can see that this armor part is articulated on his shoulder, which is great. That should be a pop-off. There we go. And he's got his own little joint in there. Now, without that on, he'll have great articulation. With on, his articulation will suffer slightly. Let me try and quickly... There we go, pop that on. So, arms. By his side, easy. Going up. Now, the thing, these big armor parts get away with these nozzles, so you can't really go that far up. You have to turn the armor out. Let's turn his hand, and he'll go up. And he'll go up. And he'll go up, and he'll go up. He can go a bit further, but look at that ammo belt. That is going to be no particular use to him doing that. And now I've just popped off his armour again, because of the angle it was at, and pushing against the, uh, the backpack there. I want to keep it on for this uh, articulation look, so we get to see what it's really like when they're fully sort of uh, tooled up. If I put it on upside down, we get a lot better articulation, but... Obviously, that look a bit silly. Is that in? So, outwards to the side. He gets about that far. Not great. Bicep was great than the others. He's got a double joint here, but he's got much more bulky arms. And he gets about 90 degrees, which is okay. He does have a butterfly joint in his shoulder, so he can roll his arms, the shoulder inwards and outwards, which is good. Trunk, great forwards and backs. Look at that. It's amazing for the bulk. Uh, side to side is there from the hips and he has a twist which is really good too hands there's nothing on the hands there's no twist there's no anything if you twist it will be from the bicep joint hips outwards is definitely the worst of the bunch look at that sculpt gets in the way these armor pieces here forwards is surprisingly good and backwards is surprisingly good Thigh twist is there. They have a double kneecap, but these wires get in the way on the back of these tubes. But he still gets a 90 degree bend, which is fantastic. There is boot turn, which is great. There is boot swivel both ways, which is great. There is a small dong, 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 ballerina tippy toe, but dorsiflexion is almost non existent because of the sculpting on the armor. He can still stand up, no, he's going to fall over. And he has, as joy to attend, to have, I believe, yeah, he has toe, really good toe articulation. So he can do things like this with his toes. So, you know, for the bulk, the articulation is not bad. They are posable, which is great. But posing that head is going to be quite tough to do. So let's get an idea of a... Of scale compared to uh, a couple of other figures so the first thing I will do is I will use the pilot from the Invicta warsuit the uh, the brethren the ultramarines version and what you can notice here not sure you can see it on the cam but the blue is different the blue on the aggressors is slightly darker than the blue on the on the uh, warsuit pilot or perhaps as I say it's not as bright yeah, a little bit dark or not as bright uh, but you can see how they scale they're far more chunky far more bulky they are a little bit taller if I use the juggernaut marvel figure I had my tool hall, to, toy haul at the beginning of this video now here's a big brute 
You can see that he's a taller than the normal Marine, but the aggressor is slightly taller than, than him. Now, if I want to make the aggressor look small of a 118 scale figure, I will use Guardians of the Galaxy Groot, who is clearly taller, but he'd be burnt alive in an instant, incinerated. These are some fantastic looking figures, by far the best looking of the uh, 40k releases so far. Let me see if I can get a little, one more, one more comparison in. I'll use the war suit itself, because that's just by me on the floor here. But I'm not sure how that's going to fit in camera. Okay, so maybe if I go one foot up, one foot down. Let's put an aggressor to this side. Let's put an aggressor on the other side. Let's get these guns going upwards. Let's get one over here. Then I'll just take the camera and I'll just go... They just look amazing. That's going to be like one of the best display shelf setups that you're going to have in your uh, collections at home. Even if you're a 40k fan of a great big army, this will look really good as a centerpiece in your display. Having these guys posed with your, uh, with your war suit. Great figures. Another fantastic release by Joy Toy. They are knocking it out of the park. I just can't wait for the uh, chaos stuff to come. So my uh, my space walls and my ultramarines have a worthy opponent to attempt to slay or be slain by. Okay, this is awesome action toys. I've got loads of videos coming up in the future. So please subscribe and click on that notification icon, the bell icon. And check out my other videos. There's over a thousand on the channel. I'll be back soon with more news and awesome actual video reviews for you guys soon. Stay happy and keep collecting. Bye-bye.